Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? Rolling shutter repair or better known as removing the jello effect. Alright, with the advent of DSLR cameras and smartphones, um, the shutters have changed and as a result, with fast movement, we get what's known as the jello warbly effect. Let's have a look at it here, real quick. You can see jello -y, I mean, that's that window is absolutely straight up and down, but you can see it's jelloing back and forth. And that occurs because the cameras in uh, DSLRs, smartphones, and a lot of uh, devices like that, they don't take a full frame at a time. They actually, uh, the shutter moves from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. And if the camera's locked off as it is here, um, you never notice it. It happens when there's movement. So the top of the frame has now recorded something different from the bottom because the camera has moved and you get that jello-y kind of effect. Premiere Pro and After Effects both have um, warp stabilizer in them that has rolling shutter repair uh, as part of the setting in, in that effect, but the rolling uh, shutter repair in Premiere Pro pulls it out and just gives you a few more settings, and it's uh, much better and easier to use. Let's go have a look. All right, as I showed you here, we get some major jello cam in. Look at that. That is just totally off to one side jello -y effect. So I'll select the clip. Actually, I'm going to, oops, I'll select both of these clips. And in my effects, I will type rolling and there's rolling shutter repair because I have both effects, both clips selected, double clicking applies it to both of these, uh, effect, both of these clips. And you'll see a red line appear. This is not an accelerated effect, meaning that it's going to take a bit of time to calculate, again, depending on how long the video is and how fast your uh, computer is. So I'm going to move with the, the uh, edge of the window close to the edge of the frame so we can see that the window isn't perpendicular. So here's the effects for... Uh, Here's the settings for rolling shutter repair. So first of all, the uh, rate at which um, it is occurring, the scan direction, top to bottom. These cameras always use top to bottom. They don't use bottom to top, left to right. The reason that's in there is if the camera was rotated. So if I did the horrible vertical video and turned that up, then this would now be going either right to left or left to right. Or maybe you did flip this upside down and the shutter is going the wrong way. But we're going to leave ours as top to bottom. Uh, we can change the method from warp to pixel motion. Warp is going to be much, much faster. And when warp is selected, we can choose to have detailed analysis, um, which uh, does that uh, does a much better job of um, analyzing the frame. If we choose pixel motion, and you can change the pixel motion detail, this will significantly increase uh, the time because it's using kind of an optical flow calculation. Very, very high end. Uh, you can try it and see if it if it warrants uh, that much processing, but it probably doesn't. I'm going to go back to warp here, leave detailed analysis, and let's go back up to the shutter rate. Uh, between 50 and 70 percent for DSLRs and it's more closer to 100 percent for a smartphone and this was recorded on a smartphone. So watch this as I start to drag this setting closer to 100 you can see the frame is straightening up. So there it is at 100. I'll turn this off, turn it back on, now hit play and now you can see it does a much better job. I've got another example here with a door frame and it's also going to be warping and you can see it there. Uh, same thing, select that clip and as we take that up you can see the room corrects itself. I'll also show you where this doesn't work. So let's look at typical um, quadcopter footage sometimes called drones and you see that watery effect that's occurring with that kind of a shot. 
can see it and that's just brutal right there. Some people think that that's rolling shutter. Um, it isn't. It's the, the motor vibrating the camera and the shock being translated from, you know, depending on, on what the camera is doing. That particular day I shot, it was quite windy. So the camera was constantly uh, trying to compensate for all of that wind. And uh, uh, thanks the amazing Jeff Foster, uh, and I'll put a link down there to his site. Jeff Foster is uh, um, a great resource that I always have, not only for quadcopters, drones, and, and stuff like that, but he's the king of green screen. Make sure you check out his site. All right, so that's rolling shutter repair in uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, hopefully you can see that, you know, you can really remove uh, a lot of that jello effect very, very easily. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to video revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30 day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.